There is something about high ground, a hill, moorland, or a mountain that is another world. You are looking down on everything, and those distant views speak about tomorrow, of things to come, maybe hoping for a visit. Ashdown Forest in East Sussex, not far from where I live, certainly fits the bill. The Romans built a road across the forest, but their tracks and many others have been fashioned out of a landscape going back millions of years. Ashdown Forest is part of a much larger and protected area known as the High Weald Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. That was established in 1983, but a long time ago it looked quite different. This area, we now call the Weald, used to form a huge dome, as high as 3,000 feet, with the North and South Downs acting as bookends. Being of sandstone and therefore subject to erosion through weathering and natural forces, it has created over millions of years the unique landscape we see today. However, the erosion was not uniform, and areas resistant to erosion are the hills we walk today, of which Ashdown Forest is just one small part. I have done many walks in the forest. Now, on this occasion, I took the bus to Chelwood Gate, one of the original entrances to the forest, with the intention of walking to Forest Row, a distance of something like seven or eight miles. After a short woodland walk, I came across a large stone bridge at Sherwood Bachery, in the middle of nowhere. Known as Folly Bridge, it is virtually that. Built in the 1930s, it crosses a bridleway. It was intended to be part of a forest garden featuring a gorge and waterfalls in the former garden of Sherwood Bachery House. The woodlands are no longer part of the estate, and so you are now free to wander. The strong midday September sun produced compositions of huge contrast. To avoid blown out highlights, I spot metered near them, allowing the shadow areas to become underexposed, which I then corrected in Adobe Lightroom. Soon I was crossing a heath, but I was too late for the heather. After crossing a main road, I was surprised to find myself walking on, yes, a manicured footpath, instead of a rough and uneven track. Wonderful to walk on, but the clue to its presence was the distant house and church. I seemed to have wandered into an estate, but the Ordnance Survey map confirmed that I was still on a public footpath. This was Ashdown Park. The house is now a hotel. The church deconsecrated. Its interior converted into a hall where preparations for a wedding party were in progress. Whilst exploring the grounds, which are extensive, I must have strayed from the right of way. But no one stopped me, and that manicured path which brought me here was a jogging trail, presumably for the benefit of more active customers staying at the hotel, but I didn't bump into anyone. The hotel drive led to the Ashdown Forest Centre, just across the road, well worth a visit, but open mainly at weekends. Weekdays in summer only. There is a car park handy for one of the best panoramas in the forest. The view stretches northwards. Forest Row is tucked away out of sight in the valley, but the prominent church tower 
to the left, on its own, Ridge is at East Grinstead. The backdrop are the North Downs, part of the Surrey Hills and Kent Downs, areas of outstanding natural beauty. For wide-ranging views, I include a foreground, adding depth to the composition, otherwise it just looks two-dimensional. I walked the ridge for about what, half a mile before dropping down through a labyrinth of paths where I briefly got lost to the Royal Ashdown Golf Course and hurried for the bus at Forest Row. I had checked timings beforehand, but I needn't have worried. The bus was ten minutes late.